Hello, everybody. Thank you for having us here. I really appreciate it. So I'm Seth, and this is our Don, and we are from Google. So we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some exciting stuff we're doing with Google Plus, and particularly Google Plus Sign-In today. Uh, so first, I'm going to give you just a little bit of an overview of Google Plus Sign-In. We launched it just six weeks ago. So I'm going to walk through just a couple of the features that we've seen developers integrate into their mobile apps and into their websites that have been really powerful for the users and for those developers. Then we're going to talk to you about a new feature that we think is really exciting and we hope you think is exciting too. So I'm just going to go right through an example here and we're going to look at OpenTable. So in OpenTable, we uh, see that in the upper right they have a sign in with Google option. So they've integrated this for their users. So if a user were to click on that button, they would get a consent dialog that comes up. Now this is the standard Google Plus sign-in consent dialog. And we were really careful about how we designed this to give users lots of control. So one thing that we heard from users is they really wanted to make sure that when they did sign into a property using Google, that they had the same level of security, the same level of trust that they put in Google when they're out on the rest of the internet. So here, we let users do things like literally edit which of their friends get sent to an app. Or right on the top, have an option not just for, you know, sharing things to your circles, but also an option to keep things private. Only you. Now, one of the most exciting features that we've seen is when a user hits accept, if they have an Android device, we ask the user whether they want to download the Android app from that website. So you're on OpenTable.com, you're signing in using Google, and you then are asked, hey, do you want the Android app? If you say yes without ever touching your phone, right, you could have left it at home, you could have it in the drawer, it doesn't matter where it is, OpenTable's app will just install. This is probably the most seamless app install you have ever seen. And it just works. When it happens, it's absolutely like magic. You pick up your phone and it's just there. So let's say that I went ahead and just picked up my phone because I've got open table on my phone now. And I'm kind of browsing around and I find a restaurant. So a nearby restaurant like Tia Pol. I decide, you know, I'm going to go ch check out the menu. I click into the menu. And then when I'm here, I decide, you know what, I want to get Ardan to come with me and, you know, check out the menu herself and hopefully, hopefully she'll say yes and we can head out for lunch. So I click on, you know, share the menu. And when I do that, I get a standard sharing screen. Now, this is another feature we launched called Interactive Posts. And this has been another incredibly powerful feature that we've just seen amazing interaction rates on from users. So when I share, you can see I put in public, because I'm fine with everybody seeing this in this case, and I also put Ardan's name in there. When I hit Next, Ardan will get a notification across every Google property that I've shared something with her. So inside search, inside maps, on her Android device, she sees, hey, Seth just shared something with you. Do you want to click it? And when she does that, she goes straight to her stream and she can see what I've shared. Now, this is actually a very special kind of share because it has a very clear call to action, right? At Google, one of the things we really care about is sending users where they want to go and sending them to your mobile apps, to your websites. And we hope that you're, we're sending you traffic that's really highly qualified. People want to be there. People want to take action. So you can see there's a button right on that share that says view menu. So we've made it unbelievably clear for the user, hey, if you hit this, you'll go right over to the right place inside the app. So Arden's taken right to open tables app to the menu. Okay. So there's another kind of sharing that we had announced with Google Plus sign-in six or seven weeks ago, which was app activities. And app activities were the user giving the developer permission to send things to Google like what songs someone's listened to, or what videos they've watched, or what articles they've read, right? So these are activities users take in the app being sent to Google. When we announced Google Plus sign-in, we said, hey, the first place that we're going to make these activities visible is on people's profiles. Our Don's from our search team, and she's going to go through a new place that we're going to make these app activities available inside Google. Okay. Thank you, Seth. Hi, everyone. I'm very excited to be here. I'm Ardan from Google Search. 
So as Seth explained, we, uh, we are making an announcement of a new feature today. We're showing you for the very first time integration of app activities into Google search. So let me jump right into it. <clears throat> this is an upcoming feature and one of our early launch partners is SoundCloud. What you're seeing right now is the SoundCloud query on Google today. Observe that on the right hand side you have SoundCloud's logo, their recent posts, ability to follow them on Google+. All of this exists today because SoundCloud has an active Google Plus presence. Let me show you what it will look like when we launch our feature. So we're adding a new element to the right-hand side card for SoundCloud. Notice the new section called Popular with Google Plus users. So what the new element that we're bringing in is the app activities across SoundCloud's website and mobile app. So we're showing for a user who queries SoundCloud what are other users doing on SoundCloud? What is popular? What's trending on SoundCloud today? This is great for the user. If I come uh, to Google, searching for SoundCloud, knowing what is going on in SoundCloud across all the other users uh, is very interesting for me. So for example, I may notice that the Economist podcast is heavily popular. When I click on it, I'll be taken to the appropriate page as a deep link into SoundCloud where I can start consuming that content right away. It's also great for SoundCloud because it's the visual and fresh representation of their content. Here's another example, Fandango. Fandango is one of our launch partners as well and I'm showing you what Fandango looks like today on Google and let's go to what it will look like in, in a few weeks. Similarly, we're showing what's popular on Fandango. We're showing the top movies consumed by Google Plus users. So for example, Oblivion seems to be the mm, top trending movie. So if I come to Google searching for Oblivion, the likelihood that I too am interested in Oblivion is very high. Well, lucky for me, the movie poster is right there and I can click on it going into Oblivion's page on Fandango. And this is a much faster click than the previous experience where I had to go into Fandango and search. So it's good for the user, it saves them clicks, and it's good for Fandango because they get more qualified clicks. So this is our launch. Uh, we're just beginning to integrate app activities into search, and this is our first step. So let me summarize for you how it works. Users come to your app and sign in with Google. That's the first step. The second step is you send us, with users' permission, user activities from your website and your mobile apps. And the third step, which is the new one, is that we aggregate all those activities and identify what's popular and show those popular items for your brand queries on the right-hand side of search results. It's good for the user, it's good for you, it's for good for Google. So these are our launch partners, and I'll hand it back to Seth. Great. So this feature is going to be launching in a few weeks' time, so we're giving you all a little bit of a sneak peek of what's to come. And we're, this is something that we're really, really excited about. When we launched Google+, we'd said that Google+, was about making all of Google one Google, one beautiful Google, one beautiful experience, where a user has a common identity throughout all of Google, has a common way to share things, and a way to interact with their friends. With Google Plus Sign In, we're taking a person's Google experience and we're making it available to them on the rest of the internet. And then also taking the best of the rest of the internet and bringing it to their personal experience on Google. And so one of the first things, like I said, that we did when we launched Google Plus Sign In was made it really, really easy for people to discover an Android application. Now we're making it really easy for people to discover what other people are doing around the internet when they're doing a search with Google you can obviously expect a lot more to come. Now, we have a little space in the uh, back of the auditorium, I think right out the uh, doors there. We're gonna be there until three o'clock today. So if you're interested in how to integrate Google Plus Sign-In into, uh, into your mobile apps or into your websites, or if you just wanna come by and recharge your phones or whatnot, uh, until three o'clock today, see us uh, just around the corner back there. Thank you guys so much.